Alright guys and girls, how you doing? Just today about a brand new fishery. Place out near Fakenham, that Billingford, Billingford Lakes. I'm just on a lake called Basil Todd. Got down this morning. Don't know what to expect. Never fished here before, never seen it. But it looks a lovely lake. There's 11 lakes here. Uh, mainly everyone's carp fishing, but I'm just fishing for a bit of everything. I've had loads and loads of roach. A couple of bream on the seven metre line. Ooh. On the pole, just out in front of where that guy is. I've just fed heavily with corn and dead maggots to the bush down there. Two edge pegs. One again, same line. To those lily pads. Same depth. I've just got a edge pole I've got there. Short dibber. Seven and a half pound main line. Six and a half pound hook length, 14 hook, and banded. It's quite breezy, it's quite difficult to hold the pole, so I've been method feeder in it all day, or switching between method feeder and pellet feeder. I've just gone back to what I was originally doing, which is 25 gram method feeder, 50-50, Green swim stim, ground bait, some uh, squid hydrosylate in there, and uh, two mil micro pellets. I've got dead maggots, and I've cut the, about four dead maggots on the hook. And uh, it seems to be working the best on the day. Everybody else is carp fishing with boilies. I am still, I've been flicking out all day long. Pellets, about four pellets at a time. Every minute. I'm messing even over that line. I've got a bomb mod, but what I thought I'd do is, I'm not trying the bomb mod yet, but. I've got 15 mil main line cell boily which I'm going to drop on that in a bit and just a 25 gram bottle lead if that don't work I can put a pellet on there or whatever I've also got which I have been trying a couple of times pellet wagra he's got 8 gram pellet wagra just yeah middle of the lake where those pellets are landing but I'm just varying the depth, much shallow that up a bit now, but I've just got an 8mm standard pellet on what I'm flicking out. It's a nice venue. I don't know what the ratio of carp to coarse fish is. Um, I got down here, started fishing about 9 o'clock this morning, by the time I got down here, set up everything. It doesn't seem to be masses and masses of bream and roach and stuff like that. It's very been fishing very sporadic. You can seem to got to sit and wait for the bite. It seems just about how regularly you cast do the match sort of method and cast every couple of minutes. You'll get fifteen minutes without a bite and then four or five come up at once and then disappears again. I keep feeding the pole on very regularly. They're just feeding it with a pot at the minute because of the squid. Make it very difficult to try and catapult or throw anything. So we've got to feed it every five minutes, give it a fairly decent amount of maggot and ground bait, a few bits of corn. But I actually haven't seen much caught at all. I've seen about three carp caught all day. What's it going on? Yeah, 20 to 1. I've seen about three fish caught all day long. Which I would have thought it would have fished a lot better than it has, but I can't I can't knock the uh, location and the views. I think before going, I'll have to check out all the other lakes and the stretch of the River Wenton. 
the nice little stretch as you come in. Looks all gravelly and I haven't got a fly rod, but if you had a fly rod or you could fish it, but uh, it's got a ten foot mini battle zone carp feeder rod on there. 4000 Shakespeare XT front drag wheel, 7 pounds Shimano Technium mainline, and 5 pound Shimano Technium hook length, size 14 hook, which is four red maggots on that one. But I've got vans, but I've got everything here. I've got pellets, maggots, corn, dead maggots, loads of different. Uh, Pellets, wafters, wafters, mini match boilies, blah blah blah. But my only concern is this water. It's absolutely crystal clear, crystal clear. And on the pole this morning, I've had two or three. Ronnie Craze. Um, she's a bit disturbed. And they're not just the native crayfish, they're the red signal crayfish. Great big red claws. But yeah, that water, uh, I don't know if you can see. But you can see right down about four or five foot. Right, I'll get back to you in a little bit.